Father, the Son, and the birth of all. This creation story begins before the beginning, before space and time in our material universe. Imagine, if you will, nothing exists but pure consciousness. Consider this consciousness to be without thought. No thought, no images, no structure or form, no thing. This consciousness simply is, without time, without any prior existence, unchangeable, unmovable, without beginning, without end, utterly quiet, utterly still, utterly alone. All knowing. What is there to know? All seeing. What is there to see? All loving. What is there to love? Stone and will. To what end? Imagine this consciousness giving birth to an emanation of itself. Now a father and the son. In the silence of the absolute, the father brings forth the first and only son from its realization of itself. The son exists as the father having a thought as the father knowing itself as the father having a sensation of its own eternal loving self. The song is called the first glory. The song emanates the father's boundless greatness and love, possessing every trait of the original consciousness. This son is a complete and perfect sampling of the father in which it dwells. Every freight of the father now expressed in the singularity of the son. The father loved and admired the son, and the son loved and admired the father. These two were well pleased with themselves, 
and they gave praise and glory to one another. And yet, although it began as the singular manifestation of the Father, the moment the Son was formed, He was no longer alone. For not only the Son, but the All arose at once. The All immediately appeared as the offspring of the Son, because the Son could not help himself for bringing others into existence. Even as he himself was brought into existence by his father, the son and the father are one, and the father's creative Holy Spirit flows through the Son with the birth of all the Son became a father the originating father that consciousness so lonely and still for eternity now had a child who had also born fruit from his glory in this way the one begot the all and the father loved them all as he loved his son. The all is called the second glory. The joy of the Lord and the pre-existing church. <laughs>